Hello everybody. Hello all my lovelies. Thank you guys very very much for tuning in to my channel. Here we are doing the mid month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. I do want to apologize for uploading the videos a little late. I am trying the best I can to pretty much survive. <laughs> uh, I've been extremely busy. Thank you guys so very much for each and every single one of you that watches my videos. You continuously help me to grow my channel and it is truly appreciated. Um, I am just so thrilled and excited. For those of you guys who have came for me for private consultations, for anything to do with spellcraft, candle magic, I am so excited beyond the moon. Uh, very grateful and blessed to see how quickly you guys are getting results. So blessed be. I am truly, truly humbled and truly thankful for that. So uh, thank you guys very, very much. Again, like I said, if you're interested in any of my services, look at the description box below. And let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of November 2017. Also, I do want to mention for those of you guys who have contacted me through email or any other social media outlet, please be a little bit patient in regards to that as there's only one of me. And I've been extremely busy with um, pretty much with spellcraft. So, um, you know, I'm trying the best I can, but just be a little bit patient, okay? Um don't think that I am ignoring uh, any messages. I'm trying the best I can not to. And I'm trying the best I can to actually respond to each and every single one of you guys. Okay. So anyways, let's get into it. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of November 2017. Regarding your love and romance, Pisces, my lovely Pisces, Pisces. All right. So the first card that popped out, you guys have the five of pentacles. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Five of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Beautiful, beautiful cards that rep. This is uh, your cards, uh, Pisces. Uh, what they're symbolizing, how you view your partner, or how you see the relationship in the present. All right, Partners Cards. The Fool card, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Four of Cups. Current situation, Spirit, current situation for Pisces. Oh, okay. Current situation in regards to your love and romance, you have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is all about a message or a loving message coming through for you guys. Uh, this could be a person if you guys are single. It could represent, um, it's almost an omen, uh, you know, letting you guys know or almost preparing you guys for that person finally stepping into your life. This is a person that you have yet to meet. It is not a person that is uh, someone you met already. Uh, it is a general reading, so it could represent, if you have met this person, they you re recently met them about a week ago. If not, this is a this is a new person. This is a person you have yet to meet, but they are definitely announcing the, their presence uh, into your life at the present time. Now, the Knight of uh, Cups, again, like I said, it's a person that is very sensitive. It's a person that is very genuine, but they are definitely guarded, as you can see here for their by their armor. They are definitely protected because they feel that they are vulnerable. So they could have came out of a long-term committed relationship uh, could go as far as six months. So they've been single for about six months. And this is a person, again, like I said, is very flirtatious, very loving, uh, almost playful type of energy for you guys. For those of you guys that have been single, uh, sorry, not single. For those of you guys that have been married or are in a long-term committed relationship, finally, the sexuality starts to, <laughs> starts to kick off. Uh, you guys are being very receptive to one another and the night of uh, cups definitely represent um, them giving you, you know, the cup full of water, which is um, an offering of love and compassion and understanding. So that's definitely a good omen in any love reading. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Pisces. You have the five of pentacles here, the five of pentacles next to the six of wands. The five of pentacles is all about fe feeling being left out in the cold. Now, this is how you're perceiving your partner, okay? So, for some of you guys, it could represent not necessarily being left out in the cold, 
but being left out in the cold, having to struggle in regards to business and finances. For some of you guys, for some of you Pisces, you guys have been struggling money wise. Uh, it could be that you don't have enough time or it could be that you don't have enough abundance coming in. Now, the six of wands definitely represents um, being able to feel like you've achieved or you've accomplished something. So this is a blessing you have yet to receive. It has not manifested as of yet. Now, you do have the King of Cups here, and the King of Cups could represent another water sign. So it would be a Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. For some of you guys, you guys are actually dealing with an Earth sign as the Five of Pentacles is in the beginning. Five of Pentacles could represent an Earth sign, which would be a Cancer, sorry, a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And I also see air here for some of you guys. So I pretty much see all the signs uh, air sign would be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I definitely feel that the initial beginning of November, it's been a bit of a struggle either emotionally wise, like you guys were, you know, literally left out in the cold. Someone walked out of the relationship. Um, or it could just represent not having enough time or not having enough abundance coming in and almost feeling like stuck, frustrated. Um, but the Six of Wands is definitely there next to it. So it's mirroring one another. So what it represents is know and understand that sometimes we have to struggle. Sometimes we have to go through difficulties because we cannot always have happiness. If that's the case, then you're not able to appreciate good or good things coming to you when they finally do start to kick off. So understand and know that it's all about seasons. In regards to love, again, like I said, if you guys have been dealing with the person that walked out of your relationship, for some of you guys that are single, it could represent a water sign or an air sign coming into your life. Um, this person, again, you do have the Ace of Swords here. So the Ace of Swords is definitely all about honesty, a person that is honest, a person that is loyal, a person that does have integrity. But it can also represent the light coming coming out. Finally being able to see what was the reason why this person walked out of your relationship. It could have been that they were dealing with another person. It could have been that they just didn't feel like this relationship was going to go anywhere. And the Ace of Swords, again, like I said, it's truths coming out. Um, being able to have clarity and understanding in regards to that uh, to that issue. Now, for those of you guys that are not a long-term committed or monogamous relationship, again, like I said, if you guys have been struggling, I definitely see that by the end of the month, there's going to be more balance coming in, more opportunities coming in, and also heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your partner in regards to goals and what you're wanting to achieve. Now, the cards that represent your partner, they have the full card here. So under the five of pentacles, which is struggle, strive, difficulties, there's a new beginning that's coming through. The six of wands is, you know, pretty much the achievement, the feeling victorious, the overcoming of obstacles, and then finally being able to receive this ten of cups. The ten of cups definitely represents emotional fulfillment, but it also represents abundance within the home for those of you guys that are married. So again, know and understand that sometimes we have to unfortunately go through difficulties you know we have to because it brings out the best in us because it really tests us and it challenges us to want to grow so this is something part of life and it is necessary for your higher good okay now the king of cups here um communication coming through very quick communication coming through for those of you guys again like i said that are single i definitely do see a person coming in probably by the end of december sorry, not December, by the middle of December. So it could go from now all the way to the middle of December. This person is finally coming through and offering a new opportunity or off offering you um, pretty much love and romance, getting to know you, getting wanting to get to know you on a deeper level. I do see the Four of Cups here. Now, the Four of Cups could represent an offer being given and it is not taken. So it could represent if, for those of you guys that are single, that, you know, unfortunately the partner was left or did leave or walk out of the relationship. If you're hoping or wanting to hear from them, I don't see that happening as the Four of Cups does represent a person that you pretty much offered them your heart, you offered them your love, or you put effort into a relationship that didn't serve you. Almost like being stuck in a relationship for too long. Uh, you kind of kept just giving them opportunity after opportunity and they were very ungrateful and based on that you need to stop hoping for them to reach out or you need to stop dwelling on the past and be able to let go of that sometimes people will come into your life and not really give you an explanation of why they're walking out or why they're leaving 
Um, it is not our duty to try to understand their nature, why they do it. It is our duty to allow, uh, to allow whether they want to come in or whether they want to go out, allow that. Because in allowing, you're actually not, uh, you're not resisting any changes and you're advancing because you're allowing people that are supposed to be in your life to come in. So please know and understand that. Again, like I said, if you've been hoping or waiting or almost putting your life on hold for a person to communicate, they may communicate. And if they do, it's going to be communication based off of boredom. It's going to be like you're not the only option. Plus, So please know and understand that. I truly hope that if you guys are or have been dealing with a person that really doesn't have their shit together and doesn't really know what they want, I hope you don't give them the opportunity to come back into your life, honestly. Um there is nothing worse than allowing people to come in and out and for them to actually be so arrogant as to think that they could come in into your life, pop into your life whenever they feel like it. You have to love yourself enough and know your worth to be able to, again, like I said, put your foot down and know uh, what you're worth and to not settle for anything other than what you deserve, okay? So I truly hope you guys understand that. Now, for those of you guys that are single and are definitely looking, again, like I said, I definitely do see opportunity for love and romance for you guys. I feel that you do have the fool here and you have the ace. So for a lot of you guys that have been single for a long time, I definitely see you guys um, connecting or vibing with someone by January as 1-1 one, one is here. Um, of course, it could represent November, but to me, the fool is, you know, it is the zero, but it could also represent going back to square one or starting anew, uh, almost like coming to full circle. So again, I do see that happening for you guys in January for sure. So blessings to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Definitely subscribe. And if you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. We'll see each other soon, okay? You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.